Welcome to my projectbazaar.com. Now we discuss about the product methods for nuclear deduction, segmentation, and classification in digital histopathology. A review current status and future potential. Now we discuss about the abstract. Digital pathology represents one of the major evolution in model medical pathological examinations contribute the gold standard in many medical protocols and also play a critical and legal role in the diagnosis process. In conventional cancer diagnosis analyzed to make diagnostic and mainly based on cell morphology and architecture distribution. Recently, computerized methods have been rapidly involving in the area of digital pathology with growing applications related to nuclear deduction, segmentation and classification. In cancer research, these approaches have played and will continue to play a key role in minimizing human intervention and providing clinical information. Pathological studies have been conducted for numerous cancer reduction and applications including brain, breast and lung diseases. This process present discusses and extract the major trends from a exhaustive overview of various nuclear deduction process. This study also enables us to measure the challenges that remain in area to research robust analysis of whole sites images, essential high content imaging with biomarkers and support in digital pathology. Now we discuss about the flow diagram. At first the input image is taken from the data set. Then the image pre-processing is carried out. In image pre-processing we have considered the, these three major things to the image pre-processing. At first the noise filtering step, then the age direction and finally the binary conversion. In noise filtering we have removed the noise from the data set image so that we have used the median filter for the noise filtering process. Then the edge direction is carried out. The edge direction is carried by using the canny edge filter method. Then the binary conversion is carried out. After the binary conversion, the image is converted into an binary image. The binary image is nothing but the image contains the only the values of two values. First is ones and zeros. The 1 represent the white areas of the image and the 0 represent the black area of the image. Then the nuclear deduction is carried out. In nuclear deduction, initial segmentation is carried out so that the binary image is carried out by the nuclear deduction. Then the segmentation is carried out by using the major two things of thresholding and watershed algorithm. By using these two things, we have segment the image. After the segmentation result, the nuclear part only comes out from the segmentation. Then the feature extraction is carried out for the segmented image. After extracting the feature from the image, then the classification is undertaken by using the SVM classification. The SVM represents the support vector machine. After the classification, the result will be comes as a text format. Now we discuss the initial running procedure. Now select the main.m file and right click on that file. Then select the option run. Now we discuss the processing. This is the input button. If you click the input image button, now the data folder will be arrival. By double clicking the data folder, we can see the data set images in that folder. Now select any one image from the data set. Then the title will be the original image. The image will be plotted in the axis. Then click the button pre-processing. After clicking the pre-processing button, we can see the another guy window. 
in that guy window we can see the three buttons image resize grayscale image and image filter by clicking the image resize we can resize the image into 256 cross 256 then the grayscale conversion is undertaken after converting the grayscale the image will be a grayscale image then the image filter by clicking the image filter button we can remove the noise from the image then click the button back to main then click edge detection after clicking the edge detection the edge is detected using the canny edge detection then convert the image into a binary image by clicking the push button binary image after clicking the binary image button we can see the image as an binary image these black areas are represented as an zeros then the white areas are represented as an ones then the click binary contour button after clicking the binary contour button the contour segmentation is applied for the binary image now the contour segmentation is available then the contour segmentation click the contour segmentation button the contour segmentation will be applied for the original image at first we can see the contour segmentation in the binary image now we, the, we see the contour segmentation in the original image now click the button segmentation after clicking the button segmentation we can see the segmented images in the figure and also we can see the segmented image in the axis now use the button cluster after clicking the button cluster we can uh, uh, open the another guy window after clicking the clustering button we have cluster the image into three types first clustering they are based on the nucleus color then the clustering of backgrounds are have two different clusterings then click the button back now the feature extraction is carried out by clicking the feature extraction button here we can see the two different kinds of feature extraction methods one thing is LBP and the next thing is Gaber by clicking the LBP button we can show the LBP image as well as we can extract the feature uh, using the LBP feature extraction method now click the Gaber button for the Gaber feature extraction if you click the Gaber feature extraction there are 12 iterations for the Gaber feature extraction process after extracting the Gaber feature the Gaber feature will be saved as a mat file then click the feature extraction button after clicking the feature extraction button the Gaber feature along with the LBP feature will be stored as a mat file then the combined values are shown in the UI table then click the button back then the main guy will be opened then click the button classification after clicking the button classification the classification guy window will be opened in that one we can see the two buttons classify and graph by clicking the classify we can see the type of nuclei otherwise the type of diseases in the nuclei now click the graph button there are separate window for the graph button now click the graph we can see the graph for segmentation accuracy and precision the red line indicates the segmentation and the green line indicates the accuracy and yellow line indicates the precision. Thank you.